I've had to go in and do some picking with a screwdriver back in places like this that were just jam-packed full of dirt. You can see there's still dirt coming out of it now. But I, hopefully I've got it cleared out enough so that when we blast it, it'll come through and come clean. It's a whole lot better than it was, but we got more to do. Hold on to your hats and I'll bring you back when I get her done. I can't hold the phone and blast at the same time. Well, here we are back into the shop. This is the fly, uh, no, this is the uh, clutch side. And I've pulled all the paper towels out of the holes. Of course, we still got water down in there. And yeah, it's got to dry out. I'm going to be taking it apart some more. I wanted to get a basic cleanup on it first. I have head gaskets, so I'm going to be pulling the heads off and sandblasting them and painting them. And I can inspect the inside of the engine while I'm at it. This is the flywheel side. Um, it doesn't need a whole lot more cleaning because it had a lot of grease and oil on it. So, and I don't think it was painted. I think it was painted with the flywheel in place and maybe even with the tins in place. I don't know. There's the tin that goes behind the flywheel, which we're not putting back on. Flywheel's just going to go on bare. And, uh... Yeah, so I've, I'm going to have to drain the oil out of it, and I'm probably going to squirt parts cleaner down in the holes and stuff like that to flush it out. And uh, when I get the drain plugs out, which I have two, one here and one there, um, I'll probably flush that out in there too. And I haven't decided yet, but I might go ahead and buy the gasket for here so that I could take this off and double check the innards. It worked fine, had no knocks or anything else. And I might be cutting my nose off to spite my face if I pull this apart. But uh, yeah, we'll get it cleaned up. We'll get it painted. I gotta finish up my welding over here where we started. Put the engine plate on, I gotta finish grinding it few more tack welds here and there and that'll be done and then I can paint that and it'll be ready to put the motor back in place but I think before I do all of that I think I'm going to put the back wheels on now that I got my pressure washer working properly I think I'll put my back wheels on this puppy and let her down and take her out and clean it up good before we start reassembling which is a good thing because I think we're going to be changing that transmission out. Going back to the three speed instead of the five speed. That seemed to be a, a problem for some of the younger people who are not used to using stick shift. So if we had a three speed, we'd be better off. I'm going to get a smaller battery. This one works great, but it's just too big for our application. There's our head gaskets. And, uh, yeah, and it does need a good cleaning. After all, it's been, oh, six, seven years since I finally put it together, and it hasn't been really clean since then. I've just been driving it, breaking down and driving it, fixing it, breaking down, driving it. My gas tank has been waiting for me to paint it for the last two years. It's in the house. I have the new stickers to go on it. So, and I'm contemplating what we're going to do with this sprocket back here. Do I want to go back to a smaller sprocket now that I have a bigger motor that will have more torque and uh, give us the higher top speed? Uh, we'll see. We have that option. And I definitely have got to modify this chain tensioner. It doesn't work well at all. It sticks. It doesn't doesn't return well. The spring doesn't pull it up tight enough. So I'm thinking about making an adjustable chain tensioner that would be solid mounted. And then as the chain loosens up, I could adjust the pulley up. 
Those are things we got to do as we progress along to getting the goofy cart back into operation again. Thanks for watching, commenting, subscribing. Thumbs up, sharing, all them good things. And oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. We talked about dual carburetors. Oh yeah. We now have dual custom air cleaners. And I have another carburetor coming. So we'll have two brand new carburetors to put on it. Yes, sir. And that'll be another fun project, figuring out linkage to uh, coordinate the two carburetors. So lots to do and lots of fun ahead. Thanks for watching. Bye now. A little more modification. What do you think about that? We'll get rid of the yellow. All you'll see is chrome. Ooh what about chrome acorn nut caps for the head bolts? But George, you said you were going to close in the addition before he got back on the goofy car. Well, we're doing both. My youngest son was down over the weekend, and we got half of this back wall done. Won't take me long now. We're going at it. He put in all the blocks. He did the measurements and gave me the measurements, and I cut them and passed them to him. He nailed them in place. So we're all ready to go. To throw up some more sheets. We're over to the window and yeah, it won't be long now. Won't be long now.